Hey Rachel, what are you working on? Hey there Kyle, I've been tracking my coffee consumption statistics and I've noticed that I might be drinking a little too much coffee lately. So in the afternoons, I'm transitioning to jasmine tea. Statistics are really important, especially in the classroom. And lately I've been thinking about the difference between data and analytics. That's an important difference to look at because those terms are used together so often. Data is the information that you collect about your students. It can come from numerical scores like unit tests or formative assessments. It might also come from observations of your students in the short term and the long term. You might also get data from cumulative folders when you look up how a student has performed in past years with other teachers. It's the information you collect. Analytics is what you do with that information. It's how you apply it, it's how you interpret it. So you could ask really simple questions like, how did my students achieve on this objective? What did they misunderstand? But then you dig a little bit deeper and you ask, why did my students struggle with this particular content? Um, how is this going to affect how I teach this in the future? And are there patterns and correlations between the way I'm teaching this and the way my students are learning? Yeah, so once a teacher starts to recognize those patterns through analytics, what's their next step? It depends on the interpretation of the data. If your whole class or many of your students are having this understanding about the concept, uh, you might need to change the way that you're leading your whole group instruction on that. However, if it's just a few students who are struggling with it or a small group, you might want to look at differentiation strategies for those students using their best learning styles so that they can achieve as well. It really depends on your interpretation of that data. So then should a teacher primarily rely on their own interpretation or should they reach out and partner with others? That's a really great question and I think that it's a little bit of both. You work with your students the most day by day in your class and you have a unique knowledge of their skills and how they were. However, it's really important to talk to your PLC and your instructional coach and your administrator. Your PLC members might have a lot of the same challenges as you do in their classrooms and some really great strategies to share so that all of your students can succeed. Instructional coaches might have some new strategies and ideas that you can use to help them as well. And administrators have that great bird's eye view of the school and school data that you can also use in your classroom to help your students succeed. Great, thank you, Rachel. It's wonderful hearing about the power of analytics. And speaking of analytics and statistics, I think this afternoon Jasmine tea situation is really gonna work out well. Well, it seems like a great idea. Would you mind sharing with me what you're working on? I, I might like to try it out too. Yeah, sure. I think you'd find a lot of benefits in it. I'll tell you, I set up this chart.